look at how many animals are killed every year, I mean, we're talking billions on a global scale, is going vegan really gonna make that much of a difference? No, it won't. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, you want me to react to Hunter Avalon and his newest video, Why I Went Vegan. Hunter Avalon has almost 600,000 subscribers, therefore a pretty wide reach. I never watched this channel before, so let's have a look. Oh hey, Hello. have I mentioned I'm vegan? It's been about what five seconds or so yo did anybody forget that i am now a vegan actually it's just i don't know i thought you might like to know it's just kind of a cool joke cool little personality trait i guess just this little little thing i like to call myself called a uh, vegan vegan over here who's at the door have you heard of our lord and savior veganism hey what's up my yep. no meat brother that's that's cool yeah veganism it's it's great they are making jokes about it but it is a religion i am in fact a vegan. What's up, everybody? It's your favorite gay looking straight boy, Hunter Avalon here. Pretty accurate. And today, I'm telling you that yes, the rumors are true. I have embraced the soy. Let me also say, I've only been vegan for a really short time, but already, I feel significantly morally superior to all of you hoes. Man, he's really rolling out the 2010 jokes. You sold 2000 and late. All right, all right, all joking aside. Today, Please. I actually did want to sit down and just give kind of a succinct explanation as to why I have decided to go vegan. What I find very interesting is that new vegans have this urge to share that they are vegan now. He was joking in the beginning, oh guys, did you know that I went vegan? To then proceed and actually make a video about why he went vegan. Vegan logic. The first reason is I think that it is more consistent with my principles. A lot of my <laughs> political goals boil down to trying to make society better for humans, but why does it yeah. need to stop at humans when in reality, I want to make the world better for all sentient life? But do you really? And if so, how will you get rid of all the predators in the wild? You are aware that billions of animals die on a daily basis in the wild. So scratch the idea of making this world a better place. It is a utopian pipe dream. I don't know what your political stance is, if it is right-wing or left-wing or whatever, but if you really care about human well-being, why would you care about humans going vegan? No matter what happens to the animals, it has zero impact on our human society. However, if we would trade real meat for fake meat or even worse, soy slop, then we diminished human life quality. It's another reason why, and yes, controversial opinion alert, I consider myself pro-life. What this means is that I think that abortion yeah. is morally wrong, and that's because the fetus has potential to get- I just made a video about this, and you, Hunter, are the exception here. Vegans simply love abortion. I'm really curious to see if this stance will change in the future. Pain sentience, and arguments can be made that the fetus has sentience by six weeks. But, controversial opinion again, I don't think that abortion should be made illegal, and I don't think Roe v. Wade should be overturned. Typical fence sitter here. It doesn't seem to work in reducing abortion. And multiple studies have shown that when states try and ban abortion, we don't really see any decrease in abortion rates. So I want to see less abortion by providing better health care, access to contraceptives, and overall better sex education. Sex education led to kids having more more sex and with that to more abortion. Sex education essentially does its name justice. It educates kids about sex. The result is more sex. To be pro-life because I would defend the right to life of the fetus because of its potential to be sentient or because it already has sentience, then it- <sighs> It is so frustrating to talk to vegans. Why is sentience the argument? Why not because it is a human. Logically follows that I should be consistent in my beliefs and extend that to all sentient life. Once I was able to- Exactly, there's the problem because we take sentience as the argument. 
Why? By that argument, nothing speaks against abortion. You can kill a fetus, which is just a fancy word for a baby, when it's six weeks old. Sentience doesn't define anything. Even plants have very complex lives and a complex perception of pain that we right now still cannot fully understand. So who are we to judge? Basing it on sentience doesn't lead anywhere. Actually, let me correct myself, it leads to veganism. This is the ethically right decision for me. It only began to make even more sense when I realized we're not just talking about killing sentient life here. We're talking about a massive industry that treats these animals so inhumanely, so dis- Yeah, because you watched a vegan documentary. Have you ever been to a farm? Do you really believe that every farmer treats their animals bad? Do you understand that in an animal industry context, people don't even have the time to torture animals? Really look into what goes into those documentaries. Vegans are psychopaths. They pay people off to torture animals on camera to convey their message. Yes, it is sick. Yes, it is twisted. But yes, it is true. Disgusting. I have a feeling it would make almost anyone listening very uncomfortable. So as I was fleshing this out, I also thought, well, maybe it makes more sense than to just go vegetarian, right? Because you're not killing a cow or yeah. killing a chicken to get milk and eggs, for example. But this is where, sadly, I was wrong. The way that the dairy industry treats animals is arguably even worse than the way the meat industry does. For example, the only way that- a If you would be really concerned about this, there speaks nothing against you going to your local farmer where you have complete oversight of what is going on. But you're not gonna do that. You're gonna stay in your city, watch vegan documentaries and scream, cow's milk is for baby cows. For example, the only way that a cow can produce milk is if it's pregnant. So what they do is artificially inseminate the cow so that it gets- It's kinda cute that he just finds out about this now. <laughs> And here's what's really interesting. Cows have a really high level of emotional maturity. And one thing that's really specific to cows is that they form really strong bonds with their children, even before birth. So have you ever been on a farm? Have you ever seen how that really looks like? Have you seen that some cows abandon their children? Probably not. That baby cow comes out. The mother has a strong, strong bond with that child. But the industry doesn't care about that. They take the baby cow away so that it doesn't take any of the milk. All while the cow cries for weeks on end. Cows can't cry. Because its baby was taken away. Appeal to emotion. It is always an appeal to emotion fallacy. This is veganism. It has nothing to do with rationale. And on top of that, yet again, I dare you, go to a farmer. Check it out. Not every farmer removes the calves right away. Have a look. Male cow, then it's killed for veal. And then they just do it all over. Not every single time. Or again, artificially inseminate the cow, take its baby, repeat. Even when we're talking about chickens, they will starve the chicken so that its body goes into this panic mode and starts overproducing eggs. So they bring the chicken onto the brink of starvation. Then they feed it really quick and continue to do that until the chicken is so exhausted and worn out, it just dies. Not true either. Absolute unsustainable business model doesn't work like that. When we're talking about baby chicks, they'll either send them down a chute into a blender or they'll put them in large plastic bags and suffocate them. When we're talking about the meat- But why do you care? Those baby chicks just hatched. What is their sentience level? It's over 9,000! ...industry, Donald Trump actually took away one of the regulations which allowed for the conveyor belts and the way that they butcher the cows to move even faster, resulting in some cows literally getting their legs chopped off while they're fully alive. Another lie, it is logistically impossible to chop off the legs of a fully alive cow. It that goes on at the hands of the meat industry so that all of us can enjoy a cheap cheeseburger is honestly Yes, this is what it's about. We all just want to have cheap cheeseburgers. The ultimate cheeseburger. Man, you are a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy of a copy.
simply repeating the oldest vegan propaganda here. Taste pleasure. It is about proper human nutrition. You don't understand that your soy cannot feed humans. You don't understand that your pea protein isolate cannot feed humans. That's all. It's simply about proper human nutrition that always will require animal foods. That's it. A vegan diet cannot provide that. If you want to improve the animal industry, be my guest. But removing it will lead to human suffering, which in turn will destroy our civilization. Disgusting. And the more and more I learned about this, the more and more I personally began to feel repulsed by meat. The question that <laughs> learned about it inevitably follows is, well, look at how many animals are killed every year. I mean, we're talking billions on a global scale. Is going vegan really gonna make that much of a difference? No, it won't. First of all, if just one individual goes vegan, that saves roughly 90 to 100 animals from being killed or tortured every single year. <laughs> Not you have a PhD in Netflix. Not only that, but when one person goes vegan, they oftentimes can lead others to do the same by way of example. This is why- Ah, could it be that this is what you try to do? Seeing veganism continue to rise because more and more people <laughs> are realizing that what goes on in the industry is abhorrent and we don't- Actually, that's not true at all. The trend goes down rapidly. ...need to be taking away sentient life for us to enjoy good food. So Was that a Freudian slip right there? Exactly. Good food. Plants do not deliver good food because plants are not food for us. One individual going vegan save hundreds upon hundreds of animals within, say, a decade. It's also really but who cares? beneficial for the planet and it does help in reducing climate change. <laughs> the more and more people that go vegan, the less demand there is for any kind of animal products. When there's mm. less demand, that means less animals need to be killed and tortured for us to enjoy leather sofas or cheap cheeseburgers. Once the <laughs> ethical and moral side of everything was established for me, the practical side of everything came a lot easier than I was originally expecting. First of all, I was surprised how many foods are really good and are vegan. They are only good because you grew up on a plant-based diet already, like most people in the West. When I look at your complexion, I can tell you didn't eat enough protein. You are constantly over -carbed. This leads to the skinny, fat, pale, vegan look that you already have. You fit right in. And because your taste buds are used to all that processed sugar, now you find the vegan food quite good. Enjoying a lot of food that just so happened to already be vegan. For example, I really like cereal. I like Cinnamon Life. I like <laughs> What did I say? Like Captain Crunch. I like that <laughs> shit. And it's already vegan. Even like the Impossible Whopper at Burger King was like really, really good. I could mm, barely even terrible. tell the difference, to be honest. So on top of that, I've also <laughs> wanted to embrace a little bit healthier eating. I know I just got done talking about Burger King and cereal, but still, I do also want to try and eat healthier. So it did seem to make wow. sense to go vegan right now also. I know that also there are some people worried about some of the vitamins or nutritional factors that are found in meat, but you can find vitamins that supplement for that really easily. Yeah, really easily for vitamin B12, for vitamin D3, for creatine, for cholesterol, for DHA, EPA, the list goes goes on. Let's just supplement all. Vegan substitutes are continuing to get better and better. And that's because the market for vegan food is getting bigger and bigger because wow. people- Man, do you even hear yourself? There are substitutes. Substitutes for what? Substitutes for animal foods. Why do we need substitutes for animal foods? If it is so immoral and so cruel, why would we need a substitute? If we address a problem in our society, for example, pedophilia, how should we help those people? Should we lock them up? Should we give them psychotherapy? Should we send them to church? What should we do? Hmm, let's give them substitutes. Do you see how sick this is, man? If you really find flesh of animals so abhorrent, so disgusting, so repulsive, why do you constantly try to replicate it? Vegan. Wow. Lastly, I do recognize that some people might have a bit more of a challenging time going vegan, depending on how they are financially. It does suck oh, really? that vegan food is so much more expensive. So I think it's really important that as someone who is now a vegan, did I mention, I don't think that looking down on someone 
for not going vegan is fair at all. Rather, I think just trying mm, to so compassionate lightly educate people about the truths of the meat industry and why you yourself might be vegan is a hell of a lot better. Because yeah, <laughs> proper vegangelical. Be some people that simply don't have the budget to go vegan. A $1 cheeseburger <laughs> is way cheaper than buying some vegan food at the grocery store. And other mm. people might simply be ignorant to what's going on in the meat industry, or they might be ignorant to why it's not really ethical to be consuming or killing sentient creatures. So all I'm really getting at there is that it's really important not to be one of those judgmental smug vegans that looks down on people as they eat their McDonald's. Oh, don't worry about that. In a few months, you will be there as well. And asks them, did you know that you're contributing to the literal animal holocaust? At the end of the day, these are just my thoughts as to why I've decided. But are those really your thoughts? It would be quite surprising to me and my audience because we heard those thoughts a billion times. You've been brainwashed, man. You find yourself now believing that those are your thoughts. You simply copied every single sentence of the Earthlings documentary, of the What the Health documentary, of the Dominion documentary, and of every single vegan YouTube video. There was not one original thought in this video. My thoughts as to why I've decided to go vegan. Let me know in the comments below if maybe you related to some of my reasoning. Totally. Please give this video a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. All right, guys, and this is it for today's video. Absolutely original thoughts. I'm amazed. I found out so many new things about veganism. Maybe I will go vegan too. Anyways, this is it for today's video. If you liked it, leave it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to further support this channel, all the links are in the description box below. Thank you very much. Please don't go vegan. Don't torture yourself. And as always, may God bless you all. Much love and peace.